When we want to send a playback, we need to open the Publish app, which we see right here. So we click on this once, turns purple, gets available profiles, and opens the Publish app. Now, I usually like to dock this to the left, so I'll click the Dock button, and then I can actually open my browse again, so I'm back into my, my project window uh, on here. So, in the Publish app now, we need to add what we would call an endpoint, or what we used to call a profile. So we click the plus button here, and all the available endpoints will appear here. Right now, we see one playback, so that's to our for our broadcast playback device. But if you have other uh, endpoints configured, you would see them here, like Twitter, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and so on. Multiple different endpoints can be configured. For this one, we'll select playback and click out of here. And we'll see we now have more information in our publish window, which I'll drag a little bit to the right on here. Uh, so it's giving us a warning here. It says playback empty video ID, which I'll explain in a second. Now there's two ways to put material into the playback window and kick off a publish. We can drag something directly from say our project area or from a search window here or directly from our asset editor. So I have our finished package. I can drag that into here or I could grab it from here and drag it from here. Same thing will happen. So we'll drag it in. We'll see that it populates. It gives us a little thumbnail up here. But we have to enter in this video ID. It's warning. This is part of the broadcast workflow. This can be um, any number alphanumeric sequence. So we'll just type in 0001. Typically, this would be assigned by the producer of the piece. And you'll have a sheet which would tell you what the video ID would be. Now we're set to publish it. So we simply click the Publish button. And then off it goes to our endpoint, in this case, a playback server. Here in the Process app, we can see the status of all the jobs we've sent to the different endpoints. If it was unsuccessful, we can roll over and see a message about why it failed. In this case, the profile was incorrect for the endpoint. The profiles must be correct for the job that you're sending, and those will be site-specific.